Hello, I'm Nicholas Frayling and I'm grateful to be a part of this series of reflections which St Nick's is offering to the wider community each day in this Easter season. One of the many highlights of my years as rector of this church was the first visit of the liner Queen Elizabeth II and the dedication of the Cunard War Memorials. Not to be outdone, the present rector was able to welcome all three Cunard queens to the Mersey, and I can tell you I was very envious. The apartment in which I now live overlooks the Solent and the Isle of Wight. On the horizon is an anchorage for several ships, among them magnificent cruise liners. It's the same story at other anchorages and ports all along the south coast. The vessels are lying motionless as their owners contemplate a very uncertain future. It's a sad sight. One of the most tragic aspects of the COVID-19 pandemic is that it robs families of the opportunity to say a last goodbye to those they love. In our normal lives, when we do say goodbye, perhaps at an airport or a train station, or even the liner terminal, we usually save our most intimate words until the last moment. So it was with Jesus. To the bewildered disciples, as he prepared to leave them, the risen Lord said, peace be with you. And then he said, I'm sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. His last words were words of encouragement, strength and new purpose, with the promise of the Holy Spirit to guide and inspire his followers. There are many lessons to be learned from these strange and alarming days. For me, the most important is that the coronavirus can either be an end or a new beginning. This can be a time to reflect and learn from our mistakes, to reconsider our attitudes, our prejudices, to care for one another, to protect one another, and to be a benefit beyond our usual circle. If we have the precious gift of faith, we too can wait to be clothed with power from on high as we celebrate the coming of the Spirit at Pentecost on Sunday. And if we do not have that gift, well, Jesus' parting gift of peace surely has meaning for everybody. Well, those ships are still lying out there, inactive, waiting. I make no apology for the comparison least of all in the seafarer's church.